Hello, this is John from Terrytown RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I just wanted to show you this brand new 2017 MPG 2800 QB. And this is an MPG ultralight. Uh, this unit does sleep nine comfortably. Uh, it's about 33 feet, four inches long. It has one slide. It's about 11 foot, three inches high. These are made to be half ton truck towable. Uh, so that's a pretty great feature, but it has all laminated sides uh, and even a laminated rear wall, which is a really great feature, especially for an RV in this price range. It also has some plywood construction inside. You can walk on this roof, fully walkable plywood roof. And this particular unit even has an outside kitchen. Um, other than that, it's a pretty attractive and very affordable, at least a very great value. Uh, a lot of our RV for the price anyway. So yeah, I just wanted to show you these. We have a whole bunch of them in right now and they're kind of new to me. So I just wanted to kind of take you a look around the outside and the inside and uh, get you acquainted with the 2017 MPG. All right, so now I'm gonna take you around, look at some of the storage compartments, look at the exterior features, and then we'll move inside and we'll talk more about the stuff inside. All right, so let's check out this MPG. All right, you can see there is a cover for dual LP tanks right here. There is an electronic jack, uh, which is always nice. On off switch, you can move that up or down. Uh, it has this black diamond plating in the front here. Uh, this is so stones and other material from the road don't damage the exterior of your RV. Okay, you can see they've integrated a bunch of a bunch of LED lights into the front here. Uh, these also do have a painted front cap. The paint's just gonna last a little bit longer and it's more durable, also looks nicer. Okay, you can see all the windows are UV protected. You can see even the slides are laminated here. Okay, it does have a big pass-through storage spot right in the front here. They put some protective, some protective and decorative materials on the wall there. You can see there's a big LED strip running through here too which is not usual. You don't always see that in these. Uh, you can see part of the aluminum structure too and part of the plywood base. Uh, this is not OSB, it is plywood. Well, generally with moisture especially, it's better to have plywood than OSB. OSB does take longer to get wet, but it retains the moisture longer. And plywood just does generally better with water. So it's always good to have in your camping stuff rather than OSB. All right, you can see on the floor here, uh, it does have a bit of a protective uh, covering too. Along the side here, uh, you can see the multi-tone, white, black, and beige. Come on back here. Okay, there's the MPG name again. All right, right here we have a utility panel. And this is for your water and uh, electricity and also a cable satellite hookup. All right here is your hot water heater. You can have another one of these jacks in the back here for stabilization. And down here, check out the wheels that come on this. Uh, these are aluminum wheels, really sharp looking. Okay, let's come around the other side of the unit. All right, you can see it does have a large power awning, and that's going to have an LED light strip in it as well. That's help you see when you're out with the family. Okay, this is kind of the cool thing about the MPG. It has this Solera speaker system, so these speakers built right into the awning. Uh, that's something you don't usually see, especially not at this price. It's pretty cool, and those are going to be obviously weather resistant speakers as well. Okay, you can see we've got three sturdy entrance steps with the grip tape leading to this door. And this is a 30 inch wide door, by the way. Uh, it's not a skinnier door, so I mean, it's always easy in case you ever wanted to change out any of the furniture or really move anything in and out of here. It's better to have that 30 inch door. Here's a big grip handle for getting in and out. Another little outdoor light here. Wheels again on this side, exhaust port. And now we're coming up on this outside kitchen. Oh, also something cool that uh, a lot of these RVs have now is this, they come equipped for solar. So all you have to do is buy the solar panel and you hook it right in this little port here. And it's very easy, very cool. Good for the environment, obviously. So, all right, right here is the outdoor kitchen. So you just lift up that flap and it does have these little clamps so you can keep it open. It does have a two burner range right here. Uh, this is galvanized too, so uh, it's gonna be able to hold up in the elements. 
comes with a full sink, and that's actually a pretty good size sink for an outdoor unit. A uh, little storage rack above that. And also a little mini fridge out here. Open that up so you can see inside. All right, and I think that's probably about it for the outside. Let's, uh, let's go check out the inside of this 2800 QB. Okay, so as we're walking inside this 2800 QB, I'll just quick take a look around at everything. All right, you can see that it does have the barreled ceiling, which is an awesome feature for something at this price point. Uh, it's just gonna make it feel a lot bigger. Okay, right here we have our entertainment center in the back. There are two entrance doors to the back bedroom. Something else you don't see that's gonna help cut down on the noise, uh, but also make it easier to get in and out of there. Also, you can see that there's lots of dark wood finish in here. And there's a leatherette. The slide out fashions look really nice. This dark centerpiece, um, and then a little bit lighter wood outside of that. Uh, there's just a generally good aesthetic feeling in here. Okay, so first of all, let's check out the kitchen. Okay, move in here. A dark colored marbled pattern on this countertop. Large farmhouse style sink. Pull out spare faucet. Three burner cooktop range. Oven under that. Lots of storage here. Gas electric Dometic fridge. Storage above that. Matching black microwave. And range hood as well. Uh, I like that they went with this multicolored wood backsplash because it gives a rich and appealing look. It serves its purpose well as a backsplash, but without looking cheap. It also has a leatherette trim on the window there. Okay, and right as you walk in, there's a little control panel here. It does have a battery disconnect switch, which is an awesome feature. But also you can control your light here, your water, the gas, um, slides in and out, as well as the awning extension. Check out the leatherette on this couch, and this is actually gonna be a jackknife couch as well. Really, really easy to fold down. Here, I'll do it for you really quick just to show you. Bam. Get closer to this so you, can, so you can see what this leatherette is like. Also, this thing is chock full of LED lights, uh, and LED lights are gonna save on battery. See what I have running this right now? Now, if you noticed in the video earlier, it's just that one little battery. And you could run these LED lights for a long time on that. Okay, nice big dinette area. Same material on the table that's on the countertop. Um, and you can remove that and you can also move it down to make a bed sleeping area, of course. And underneath here, you pull up this, pull this up, and there'll be some storage area here as well okay and also the walls in here are gonna be nicely textured I like that texture um, it's a little bit darker on this slide out than it is in the rest but there's also a bunch of storage compartments with decorative glass above that couch and back here um, this could be either good for pantry space or for linen space or for really or really for whatever Nice tight latches on this. It stays closed when you're driving on the road. Pretty deep storage compartments. It's gonna be wood trim. There's trim around these doors. It's a nice feature. This is the bunkhouse area. There's a big cabinet built right in back here. The same surfaces on top of this stuff uh, that's in the rest of the unit. Another little dinette slash game table back here. So that's great if you're camping with your family, uh, extra spaces to eat, or the kids aren't gonna keep you up at night when they're playing their games. Teddy bear bunk mattresses. This is very plush material. See, Teddy bear is made by Denver. Really soft, uh, fun for the kids too. Open this up, you can see the space in here for clothes or whatever. 
about this drawer. Really sturdy drawer. Really sturdy drawer, surprisingly sturdy. All right, open this up down here. More storage space underneath that bunk. All right, let's check out the drawers in the kitchen and see if they're as sturdy as the drawers are in the bedroom there. Oh yeah, they're even compartmentalized. Very nice construction. Don't have to worry about those. Bedroom. And right here outside the bathroom, uh, we also have the thermostat control. Just great. Right here in the middle, that's where your AC protrudes down. Um, and on the dome ceiling too, they do have this really cool wood pattern, which I think looks amazing, as well as ducks. Okay, open up this bathroom. All right, there is a foot flush toilet. Little tub slash shower area. Shower head. Skylight to let the, let the light in. Power vent fan. Mirrored medicine cabinet. Sink. Space below the sink. You could put some extra toilet paper or cleaning supplies. Come out of that bathroom, come back here, check out the master bedroom. Uh, first, we'll take a stop at this TV entertainment center. Okay, spot for your TV up there on a bracket. We've got your multimedia player there and cabinet below. I really like it too that they use this, that they use this uh, wall board in the back. That really sharp look, staying that dark color. Okay, Furion Multimedia Player. This is gonna have USB, auxiliary ports. I'm gonna be able to control the different zones, outside and inside. Be a closer look at the backboard. Let's go through one of these entrance doors to the bedroom. Okay, large exit window, first thing you see. Good size bed for a unit like this. Wardrobe on both sides of the bed. Some overhead storage as well as a shelf above the bed. The angle for the front of this unit that makes it more aerodynamic is also incorporated into the sleeping area. See, it makes it a little bit more roomy in here, a little bit more room for the bed. Um, above the bed too, that little black box that you see uh, that's a USB or DC charging station. All right, that's the storage area above the bed. And this is one of the wardrobe areas next to the bed. It does have a hanging bar and also the slope is incorporated into that. So it's probably hard for you to see because it's so dark, but um, there's more room towards the bottom if you want to put something bigger down there. And in an RV like this, like a lot of competitive RVs in its class, it's great that it has the dual doors because um, especially see, and this is completely normal, but there's just not a ton of room in the back bedroom. This bedroom has a similar layout to a million other RVs, but um, there just isn't much room. So it's nice to have a door on both sides and I always have to be squeezing on the front of the bed. Um, also a great feature on this one is that you can lift up the bed uh, and it's on hydraulics. And then there is a storage compartment right here too. All right, and then the overhead storage and the wardrobe on this side are gonna be exactly the same. So let's go out of our second door. Oh, also, something I didn't talk about before too, uh, is the pull-down blinds in this unit. Sturdy, these are the kind of things that you see in higher priced fifth wheels as well. Um, they move up and down really easily easy to take care of. Okay, let's come on out of here. So, this has been the MPG 2800 QB. Uh, that bunkhouse in the back is awesome. Uh, it also does have a wood look vinyl in here, which I didn't, which I actually forgot to touch on. Uh, but that's just gonna hold up really well um, to the normal stuff that comes with camping, the wetness, the dirt. Uh, you're gonna be able to clean that off easily. 
without it looking too cheesy or aging rapidly like some linoleums can so so yeah this has been the MPG 2800 QB uh, I like the color scheme in these I like the barreled ceilings I like that all the surfaces are laminated it's a nice lightweight unit really good value especially for a family you can fit nine people in here but it looks sharp too uh, and you're not breaking the bank so I think these MPGs are a winner so we're gonna start putting out some videos of them this is 2800 QB and uh, I'm sure we'll get some more videos coming at you soon too so yeah feel free to come out on Terrytown give us a call whatever you got to do we'll be happy to help you out so yeah thanks a lot for taking this tour with me and uh, Take care, have a good day.